Thank you, Jordan Brand. Yo, what's up, sneaker fam? So today I'm gonna be showing you the Air Jordan 1 Royal 2017. Let's do it. The box, of course, OG, red and black. On the tag it reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black slash Royal slash White You guys know these are the remastered Royals I just want to thank Jordan Brand one last time For bringing this Jordan 1 back The last release was 2013 And they've just hit it hard with that Bread and Shad backboard material But this pair I actually got online Which I'm very happy about I mean I'm rubbish at copying online But as you guys know in my camp video If you guys didn't see it I'll drop it down below I camped out for these in Nighttown London But the only size I could grab was a 12 UK Managed to shift it to my guy for retail and while I was in line I copped these size 10 speechless I mean a lot of other people around me my guy Sneakbox Joe copped as well I think Nike did these really well I mean I'm hearing these were Space Jam numbers but if not they were definitely high numbered everyone that wanted a pair got a pair resale isn't that much on them at the moment which is a good thing for you guys that want to cop them but I could have just stayed in bed instead of camping out at like 5 in the morning for these but overall experience in Nike Town camping was just incredible so if you guys didn't check it out definitely go check that out and hit that thumbs up so he's released this saturday just gone april the first a lot of people probably thought that it was april fools but obviously it wasn't because a lot of locations got these i definitely want to get my hands on a pair of royal satins as well as the bread satins but the royals dropped at two locations in america 700 pairs made so that's about 350 in each store the lines are mad but they look incredible so if you guys are new to this game these are the air jordan and royals and these are the in my opinion the most ogiest i don't know if that's a word ogiest awesome Jordan 1 there is. People went crazy over these. He sold out in seconds. Same as the breads basically. But as you guys can see it's got that black with the blue panels. And then blue panels are actually super soft. Jordan Brand did really well on these. I'm really happy with my pair. Got that black tongue with the blue Nike Air OG on the tab. And Nike switched up a little bit. Check the laces out. They've done them in rolled instead of just bunched together. I mean I've seen a lot of people saying that if you get a pair like that they're fake. Well, they're not because these came officially from Nike and if Nike are selling fakes and don't know what this game's coming to but that is a new way they're doing it I'm sure it's a much smarter way of course you get the blue royal laces the black OG started you got your white midsole and then that royal blue sole which hits off really nice I'll show you that leather quick on that side yeah super soft black air Jordan wings logo stamped as all Jordan ones come with and then on the inside you've got your white insole with the royal blue Nike Air yeah. These are just awesome, I mean, that tumbled leather, just incredible. Show the Nike swoosh. And of course that Jordan 1 smell, these are beautiful. Especially these in the breads, they've got that strong smell. When I first lifted off that lid, hit me in the face out of the box. And as you can see, I've got my remastered OGs behind me stacked up. You guys know how to pull these out. I'll just show you the bread comparison. Both exactly the same, super soft. Jordan Brand killed both of these releases. Both sold out instantly. Both classics and just two straight fire kicks. What side would you guys go for? Go for the breads or the royals? I'm going to go for the breads because of course red's my favourite colour. But these are just classic. I think I'll choose the red. So comment down below what you guys are going to pick. So I hope all you guys that wanted to cop these actually copped them. And like I said the resale isn't that high at the moment. So you can definitely pick up a pair at a good price. And don't pay stupid money on them. So just before I end the video. What's your most favourite remastered Jordan 1 so far? Far. Is it the 2015 Chicago's, the Black Toes, the Storm Blue Ones, the Bread Ones, or of course the Royal Ones? A lot of OG classics here, but I want to know what you guys think, so comment down below after this video. So I'm going to lace these up quickly, throw them on feet, and do an on foot video for you guys. See what they like on feet. These are going to be incredible. I can tell I've seen pictures of them already. I can't wait to rock them. If you like this review, hit that thumbs up. Comment down below if you copped them, or if you passed on them, or if you just didn't get them at all. If you didn't watch my camping out vlog for these, I'll drop that down below. I've said that three times now. Yeah, you guys know what to do. The on foot shots will come on my Instagram, at King of the Eye. Definitely stay tuned for that. And my next video will probably be coming in a few days. I had something special come through the post. Until then, I'm the King of the Eye. Peace.